there's quite a lot of tension through his left finger flexors. And I think mm. you can see that in terms of uh, the posture of his fingers um, relative to the base of support, which is the bed. <laughs> Why are we interested, based on what Sarah talked about, you carry on Sarah. I'll okay, talking. okay. Why are we interested in bringing his hand to the surface and, and placing his hand on the surface on the left can you relate that to something that Sarah talked about in the lecture this morning? Light touch. Light touch, right? So Good. we're interested, and why is light touch well important? Why are we interested in creating Good. light touch? It, might, it gives us the opportunity to provide novel, afferent information, so yeah, because he's not Here's getting his hand in contact with, with the environment on an ongoing basis. So we have massive oh, sensory correct. deprivation through this left hand, correct? Yep. yep. So why do we want that after yeah. information? Why is that important? For schema. For schema. Good. Yes, for schema with respect to the upper limb. Yes. Well done. And why else? So we're building that Where's left that? hip strength. Yes. Like in case, sorry. Left hip. Frame A frame of reference. Can you explain that to me a little bit more? Who said that? Nate? Adrian. Adrian. Yeah. Can you can go. you go a little bit further with that for so me? So you can go. So his, right. I guess, frame of reference is typically further to the right. Yes. If we were to give him more feedback on the left, then that perceptual framework yes. in his brain would then well have him feel more comfortable with shift. Feel that hip. Right. Yep. Forward so over your foot. Think about your hand yeah. as your eyes in the dark. Is that different? Yeah, that's much different. In order different. to go to the bathroom yeah. in the middle of the night, do you switch the light on? No. <laughs> not you, I'm talking to them. <laughs> you listen to Sarah, not me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's amazing that he's taking control of both conversations, don't you think? That's yeah. a positive critical cue for me. It's a cognitive right? dual task. That's a cognitive dual task, right? You're, not, you're listening there. to me, you're yes. not listening to Sarah. There. Right? It's hard to listen to two That's people it. at the same time. So, right? Yes, hip, yes forward in so space. So go back to where was I? Frame of reference. Keep it forward. Walk in the dark. In the dark. So, yeah. Do you put the light on when you go to the bathroom in the night? No. You okay. What do you yeah, do? Yeah. You have okay. yes. So we're gonna you bring use your hands. You find the doorknob. Yes. Right. Knee. Forward. You find the entrance into your That's bathroom. That's different, isn't it? And if somebody put something in your way that you didn't notice oh when you went to the bathroom, I somebody that didn't put the laundry basket point. where it's supposed yes. to live. Hence, my husband. <laughs> Good. Now Do that's a real problem, right? Because I don't expect it to be there. But there. I'm oriented the spatially Lose the to knees. the environment that I live in, knees in forward. the dark. Yes. And up. Right? Well done. So we want to use the power so of his left shift hand into the left. to provide him with into where is left. left space because if his left hand never goes into left space <coughs> then his orientation there to left space is going to be very deprived well done yeah and step so